Hello, fellas and ladies. It's time to review the my most anticipated movie ever, the Super Mario Brothers movie by Illumination. In this version, Mario and Luigi are, you know, the, the guys from the video games. They're they're plumbers in Brooklyn. Little did they know, Bow in the Mushroom Kingdom, which is like I guess a pipe underground away. In the Mushroom Kingdom, a big meanie named Bowser steals a star and is going to destroy the Mushroom Kingdom unless Mario can stop them. Also, Luigi's been kidnapped, FYI. Since I was like a little baby boy, I was just in love with Mario. I had a GameCube uh, when I was a kid and broke, and then during COVID, I bought a GameCube so I can play some of my old uh, Mario games. Like I, I played Double Dash like a madman. I loved Mario Sunshine. I loved the 3D Mario games. I still play Mario Odyssey and Mario Kart 8 and like Smash Brothers from time to time. I'm a huge Mario guy. So this movie is just littered to the brim with Easter eggs. And I was constantly doing this. Oh, I know that character. Oh, I know that sounds. I know what that location is. That was me the entire movie. I felt so smart and brainy. If you're a Mario fan like myself, I'm sure you'll have some resemblance of fun with this movie. Because I did have a lot of fun with this movie. I thought the voice cast was all, at worst, serviceable. I, honestly, I did not mind Chris Pratt in this movie. Maybe, maybe because I've been making fun of it for so long that I've kind of gone over it. But it did not feel like Chris Pratt was just being Chris Pratt. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he did a rev any revolutionary. It just didn't feel like he was just talking into a microphone. And they do kind of address, like, why he doesn't sound like it is the entire time. I guess it makes sense. I guess it would have gotten a little annoying because, like, you know, Mario's voice is ma mainly known for, like, Small little cast rage is like, it's a me. And I guess kind of doing that for the entire time would be a little annoying. Like, I need to do dramatic moments like that. Like, I need to catch my brothers. I suppose there is like, a you know, it takes a very certain level of voice talent to do it. And maybe they could have gotten someone to do it. But at the same time, like, why risk it? What they got was perfectly fine. Any Taylor Joy, I thought was really good as uh, Princess Peach. I also like what they did with Princess Peach, not just making her some damsel. I know some freaks of nature, some insecure little douchey boys are going to be like, mm, she has to be kidnapped. But, you know. I thought it worked. Ignore those fucking losers. I actually really like Keegan Michael Key as Toad. He, that guy committed. Like it, I cannot. If you didn't, if I didn't know that was Keegan Michael Key, I would not have known. I thought Charlie Day worked as Luigi. I thought Seth Rogen was just kind of being Seth Rogen. It worked, but like as Donkey Kong, it just kind of was that. I actually really liked Fred Armisen as Cranky Kong. It's a tiny role, but like. I thought it worked. I thought he was really funny. I think Jack Black is like far and away the standout of the cast, though. I think he brings his Jack Black isms to Bowser and it just fucking worked. I love the old little he's like insecure about like Mario potentially stealing Peach. I thought that was funny. Uh, he had like this moment where he's singing and I just went, OK, like that was the funniest moment in the movie, which to be fair, it's a low bar. The movie's not very funny. The movie kind of just throws little j jokes every once in a while. And I'm just like, yeah. You know, my audience got a chuckle out of it. I got a couple of, you know, air out of the nose moments, but overall did not think it was the funniest movie ever made. Also, the animation is just incredible. I think it just, it toes the line of like realism, if that makes sense. Like, you know, it, Mario and Luigi don't look like human beings with those fucking giant ass noses. But like, there's definitely some realism in like the clothing and like even the way that Bowser's skin looks. I think it toes the line. It's not, it, it looks real ish but like it's still like it's clearly a cartoon i think it worked for what they were trying to do here it never like leveled to any uncanny valley territory also can we talk about the score real quick dude when i got out of the theater i was like oh my god i need to listen to that score that was awesome and then it's not on itunes yet so i'm actually upset about that basically it was like really epic and like just badass versions of like classic mario themes like the i think the mario galaxy theme is in there somewhere but there were moments where i was like this does not need to go as hard as it currently is and yet oh my god did it <laughs> so yeah a lot of what's on the surface really worked it's the story that just kind of is lacking which is kind of part of the course when it comes to illumination but like man <laughs> the story is just like it's very short this movie's like you want to talk about long ass movies this movie's really short and it kind of just like leads to nothing and with that it kind of removes any moments for any emotional payoff or any emotional like at least effective emotional execution. The story kind of just levels on. This is happening. Let's go get this thing to help us out. Oh, it ends up being useless. So I guess we're just doing it. Now we got to believe in ourselves. Like, I don't believe Mario has much of an arc. He's kind of like, kind of like courageous from the get go. I guess Luigi has a little something there, but like, there's nothing really. Peach doesn't have an arc. Nobody really has an arc in this movie. And I know I'm going to hear people like going, 
Like, I mean, I'm hearing this bullshit excuse, kind of people going like, oh, if you went in to analyze it, you're missing the point. Like, and those reviews don't count. It's like, look, I'm not saying this movie has to be the most the deepest movie in the world, but like, you need something. So this movie sticks with you after the movie ends. I'm not going to lie. As I was driving home, it started to fade a little bit. Also, to those people who are doing that, who are going like, it's just fine. You're not supposed to take it seriously. Like, doesn't that kind of devalue the movie to you? Like, that you're just making that excuse? Like, come on. But yeah, no, story was kind of a nothing. <laughs> So yeah, that was uh, that was the Super Mario Brothers movie. I definitely liked a lot of what was going on, even if what was below the surface was kind of just nothing. You know, I the voice cast maybe we overreacted. I had a really fun time with this, and you know, honestly, it, I wouldn't go out to see. Like, I'm going to go like later today. I'm going to go see Air again. I would not go out to see this movie again. But if something, like a friend going, like, hey, I want to go see the Mario. Want to come with me? I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll, I'll go watch that again and just burn an hour and a half. Why not? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give Mario Brothers movie like a like a nice seven out of ten. Yeah. All right, that is uh, that's that. Like, subscribe, share. There was a moment at the beginning of this movie where like the Mario and Luigi are having dinner with the family, and they pull a nice, delicious looking bowl of of us uh, of like fucking Alfredo with like some mushrooms on it, and Mario goes ew, and I'm like, you want to get a fucking clock in the nose? That looks delicious. I'll have that shit, bro. Mm-hmm.